today we're gonna to be making some lo-fi boom bap. It's a rainy day here in Washington, and there's nothing more that can capture this day, this beautiful day. I think I'm just gonna start off by making some drums here. I wanna lower my BPM, so let's go to splice. Let's go with that kick. So let's go to these kicks, and I'm gonna lower the velocity a bit on this one. I'm gonna get like that boom bap little bounce here. So let's go something like that. Um, let's make this window bigger. Just kind of having fun with this is kind of what music music's about. Is just having fun with what you got. So pretty much we started with a D D minor, but we moved it down one semitone and made another triad. So a C to D triad. We add some little top top little melody to that, just to give it a little more rhythm. I might change the sound, but I'm just gonna add a little RC20, because RC20 is like the king. So I might just layer the sound with another one. Um, all right, yeah, I like that. Go to MIDI transform, and then go to random velocity. I'm gonna pull down this max right here. So I don't want the max to be 127 because that's like as high as the velocities will go. We're gonna go to a plugin from Cymatics called Origin, free plugin. Definitely go download it. I have the link in the description for you guys. But you can also add like the movement and the chorus and the saturation and it just really can bring like kind of dry sounds to life. Like listen to that. I'm gonna turn these down a bit. So now I'm gonna mess with this uh, hi-hat shaker pattern a bit more. It's a little boring. So. Find something from Arcade. So I'm gonna go with the lower octave just because I already, I'm kind of thinking about the mix ahead of time. So I have something in the higher octave already, kind of something in the middle. So I want something a little lower below that just to make this as full as possible. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we need. That is incredible. I, that, like... Actually, maybe I'm going to keep the origin off of that for now. Because it kind of... Alright, so we're going to go back to Arcade, actually. And we're going to find a perk loop. Because they have really crazy perk loops. So I might be able to use this sound even. This is kind of cool. We're actually gonna try reversing this. So if you grabbed your scissor tool, actually, this is really off the beat here. So I'm gonna go Command Option and then click, and it's gonna chop it at each bar, which is really cool. Really cool shortcut. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the beat here before I reverse it. So it's actually reversing the beat when I go to reverse it. Like it's gonna keep it in the same progression so it's not flipped. Oh yeah, I gotta bounce it out in place first. I forgot. <laughs> Reversed strings, just lit, name it really quick. Um, Go to this little area up here and just click reverse. 
Next, what we need is we need to add a little bit of widener to this because it's pretty narrow sound. So we're going to go to infected mushroom. Lo-fi glow. This is exactly what we need right here. So we're going to get like a synth lead. I do like that sound a lot. What we're going to do though, we're definitely going to EQ the living crap out of it because it's too, a little too much going on. So we're just going to find a little pattern here in the MIDI here. Shadows of death. I take a look at my life and realize that I got nothing left. Mm. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Gives a lot more bounce. Um, add this other perk. From the shadows of death, take a look at my life and realize nothing left. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm the best rapper there is. So that's gonna wrap up this lo-fi beat. Um, this one's a vibe. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If this video is enjoyable for you guys, go like it, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.